Okay, and continuing on my series of made in the USA products, specifically boat shoes in this case. I believe these were probably made up in Maine. These are Sebagos, and maybe somebody can chime in in the comments section exactly what factory, wherever these were produced. And these are very interesting. Uh, notice they have three eyelets, solid brass eyelets all the way around. They also have a, a stitched the piece uh, that the sole is glued onto is actually stitched. There's a roll of stitching you can see. You can barely see it there. And of course a lot of hand work. That stitching across the back there is all done by hand. And of course the moccasin toe uh, stitching in the front is all done by hand. And these are made in the U.S. And at the end you're going to see uh, after I treated them with some leather treatment that uh, Picard leather treatment. I've done some reviews on that and I've used it on, on several of these shoes. Here's another pair of, uh, again, these are both made in USA. These are Sebagos. They call theirs dock siders, uh, sort of similar to top siders. When I use the leather treatment, that black on the back there, that kind of kind of went away and so kind of took care of that. Picard's is just like miracle stuff. You just rub it on with your hand and it just does wonders. And these have a nice combination sole is what I would call that sole uh, as far as the tread pattern. Very comfortable. These are two eyelets. And again, I believe they have brass hardware there. These have a moccasin, a double sole. See how see how see that extra row of stitching there? The the extra leather wraps around and then is stitched part way up there. And you can see the stitching on the inside. That that's just an extra piece of leather, not two pieces of leather stitched together, but an extra piece of leather wrapped around and stitched on to the other moccasin style leather. So basically giving you double layer of leather on the bottom, which is common on some moccasins. So interesting construction. I will say both of these shoes are extremely comfortable. You can see that sole is stitched on all the way around, which is very common with top siders and a lot of other boat shoes as well. Some of them also stitch on the other piece and then glue on the actual sole onto the, the, the extra piece. I don't know what you call that, an, a midsole or whatever you call that. But here they are treated with the Picard leather dressing which does a wonderful job on on quality leather like this so again share your comments on shoes that are made in these united states of america and maine and other places and what do you wear and please subscribe to this channel and if you have details about these particular shoes please share them in the comments thanks